name is Abubakar Sadiq Yusuf. I prefer to be called Keita or Sadiq. I'm from Ghana. I'm 32 years of age. I'm from a very conservative, orthodox Islamic background. I'm born a Muslim and I'm a practicing Muslim. Yeah, growing up, I found myself different from what my family and what my society want me to be. And I see myself so different to that. I preferred to be addressed as a woman, even though it's difficult for me from Africa and then from a Muslim background. But still, when I get to a space where I'm comfortably and tell people address me as a woman or as she, that's what I prefer to be addressed. I started Solis Brothers Foundation in 2012. Uh, now it's Solis Initiative because we moved from the HIV AIDS activity where we address issues around MSM to issues of human rights where it includes all the broader LGBT spectrum. So now we are more inclusive with the L, the B, the T and the, the G. My main story of change I want to share today is on the trans movement in Ghana. Trans activity has been so silent in Ghana because there is no much acceptance in our society. I try to use myself as a role model to reach out to other colleagues I know who are potential trans but then can come out freely and can accept themselves because of the society and the environment we live in. So normally I tell people, look, you have to be yourself, you have to be who you are, you don't have to shy away from your identity and your identity is your legal right to be who you are. So I serve as a role model to that community. And this has brought a lot of people's attention to accept themselves for who they are. One of the story I, I will share is there is this young guy who everything he does is so feminine and he feel he's a woman but then he's family always told him you have to be a boy and this young guy will now come out and tell people well I'm, I'm a boy because my family said I'm a boy but through inter interaction with him and let him understand what the trans concept is it's not about having a sexual reassignment or going through a surgery this guy is now full acceptance of himself he embraced himself and is one of the young people I'm working with now back at home. So looking at the activities COC are doing with Ghana, the movement in Ghana, COC is supporting the Pride Project, which nine organizations in Ghana are benefiting from this project. And Solis is one of the beneficial organizations of the project. Also, um, in, 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 a, in a few weeks, uh, COC is organizing trans meeting in, for West African trans persons and then this is one of the positive um, things that I think is coming from COC because this, this will be our first trans meeting to meet various trans people from other West African countries and for me it's a pleasure to be part of that meeting to share experience, learn from other people's work and also take the positive experience back home to, 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 to work with it. So I think this is one of the good things COC is doing for the West African countries. It's always good to have passion for what you do. Without passion, you're not going to achieve the success you aimed at. So for me, I was driven by the passion I have for my community, for myself and for the work I do. So what I tell people, you as an activist or a social worker, you should develop that passion for your work and you should dare to achieve more with your passion. Thank you.